another Mark II Golf Storage video. We're in a GTD today. Um, today we're going to try and do a compression test because we think we might have a blown head gasket or head. Uh, hopefully not a cracked head. So let's give it a go. Hi everyone, uh, I just want to make a short apology before you watch the rest of this video. Um, I didn't manage to get the usual amount of footage for one reason or another. Uh, I don't know if there was a problem with my camera or memory card, but there doesn't seem to be footage of me uh, fully testing each uh, each cylinder and the steps of plugging the compression tester into the adapter. Um, so apologise for that. Um, if you're after a detailed video on how to do a compression test, then this might not be the video for you. But if you're just interested in seeing what uh, the findings are for my ongoing project that is the Mark II diesel, uh, then please continue watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so we borrowed this compression tester for Albi. Um, we need to find one of these which will go in the glow plug hole. I'm suspecting this is the right one. So here's my glow plug sort of line the threads up next to each other. It's a little bit longer but it should it should be okay. So put this on the ends of the hose. Let's take it off to get it off. Put that in the glow plug hole, crank the car over, check the reading on here, check it's the same for each one. Press this to release the air before we disconnect it from here and unscrew the adapter. So let's go and do that. Okay, straight away we come across a problem. Uh, glow plugs are down here. And while yes, we can maybe get this in there, we're gonna struggle getting this on there as well because of how tight that is against the fuel pump. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to do it by taking the injectors out. First thing we need to do, get the engine warmed up so we can take the injectors out. So I'm going to crank it over, leave it running for a couple of minutes. Engine's warmed up, we're just taking off the injector pipes and then we're going to whip out the injector. Extension bar. That's it. That way. What? Yeah. You. Yeah. 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 Maybe you just turn a socket on it. Nah. Oh, it might be, but it's in there. <laughs> Try it, see if it, see if it fits in, I guess. But can you just clip this on after? Yeah, it pulls off. <laughs> Never does it pop out like that. Looks well, nothing dropped out of it. No, it doesn't, it? Unfortunately, I didn't record the compression testing for all cylinders, but I'll give you the results of findings at the end. Right, so we're putting the injector back in. Uh, obviously, this is set to the right torque setting, so it's 70 newton meters. So it's going to set the torque wrench back to 70. Oh. Should be right. There right, so that first um, cylinder was 400 psi. So I need to check the second one now. Got our special spanner. So you can see here we've added on hoses onto the injectors mm. to capture any fuel that comes out of the injectors yeah, when the fuel pump is turned. Ooh. 
so we're just removing injector number two. So that one's much lower. 320. Five hundred. When it started up, that's the problem. That's why shut it off. Don't knock it off and see if it. Try to get without trying it without starting. I'll just keep trying to turn it without starting. It. Four hundred ish. Yes, that's the same. It's it's like said five hundred before. Oh, right. It was five hundred before. It started up. Third, what the second one? The I think it was number fifth one. We're okay, second and fourth are okay. So, the third one was one with a big difference, wasn't it? Mm. So, there we go. Uh, looks like cylinder three has a slightly lower compression than the rest of them, which uh, reconfirms in my head that maybe we do have a head, a blown head gasket after all. Um, so, I think we're gonna have to take the head off and find out, really. That's the only way to find out. Uh, if you found this video useful or interesting, please consider dropping a like, clicking on subscribe, maybe hit the bell notification, or if you really want to support us and get your name at the end of the show, consider subscribing to me on Patreon uh, for as little as £1 a month. You get, you get yourself listed on the credits. Um, buy me a coffee, it's another option. So, more to come with this. Uh, if you have been watching, thanks for sticking around to the end. See you in another video again soon.